What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Mirage. We got Assassin rank finally, and this is the Master Assassin's outfit that I got in the last video that Rest I had not do. displayed. We have much guys. work ahead of us. So I hope you guys are doing good. We gotta report back to the bureau. I think we're on our kind of final stretch. So I hope you guys are doing good. Let's do this. You took your time. Did you wait up, Master? I wait for no man. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al Mutabakil. What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim. Have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother, Khabiha. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the Round City. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Reports back to me atop the house of the previous hill. Well, I've already been to the Round City, so that area is highly defended. But I think, yeah, multiple investigations. Let's take a look. Whoa. Alright, let's do this one. And those are the other two. Okay. So the round city. Do I have to do the inner round city or the outer? Just the outer looks like. Okay. I'll fast travel there and see what's up. Actually, that seems to be right near the drop. So let's do that first. Poet, politician, and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. So I do have one nearby. I gotta look at it. Go, Enkidu. Right in there. Alright. They say the harem is home to hundreds secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. Well, let's see exactly what I'm in store for. Can I just walk in? I'm gonna take a guess and just walk in. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch. Or the Khalifa himself. I am neither. So this uh, could be interesting. Yes, okay. Let's eavesdrop to see if I can get an outfit or something. Pull some Hitman stuff out. Uh, Yeah, sit right here. Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was. While al Mutawakil lived... But her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. 
When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira. And try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Well, that's one, 31. No, that's my entrance. Okay, I need... Over there? I'm guessing so, because the other marker is the door. So let's go see where these eunuchs are, and maybe I can swipe an outfit. Show me everything. Where is this leading me? Oh, he was right there. <laughs> can I take him out? That looks like a good fit. Shame someone is already wearing it. Uh, yeah. Let us just move you out of the way. Let's put him in the haystack. Sweet. Using disguises. Um... Wear the eunuch, so I have to put it on. I thought that was me actually doing that. Oh, well, maybe I put it on over here. Oh, yeah. Time All to right. make use of this uniform. Superman style. A bit Ooh. tight across the chest. And gut. Hopefully this will work. Looking good, Bassam. Damn. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira! Assalamu alaikum! You know him, Makira? Um, I... What? You have forgotten me already! No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Hmm. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Nice. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. Not sure where I need to go. Search the office upstairs, maybe? Important offices are usually on the top floor anyway. That seems to be the roof. Sir, are you lost? You cannot be here. Hold a moment. Okay, that wasn't the right way. Over there. What are you doing? Makira! I was just- Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. 
Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. Hm. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umm Walad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some... I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira? What will you give me? The key to that office. Eye paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. And a magic carpet ride. <laughs> Eye paint and magic potion. Seriously? Okay, where are these supplies? Oh, up there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. It's right here. Bigger eyes might add to my disguise. No, focus, Basim. You need that key. And now I gotta swipe it. So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. <laughs> the magic potion that makes everyone apparently more attractive. Here you are. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions, but I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body, its secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira. We had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. Okay, I gotta find the stairs again. Right here. So I was right going to the roof, but I missed the step. I had not not needed to go there yet. I just hope I could still... Yes, I got my hand blade. Okay. Okay, the office over here. But it seems to be barred. So I gotta find a different way in. There must be another way in. Move. That was really close.
like, hey, can I uh, break a window or something? I don't really know a different way in here. Missing something? So it is barred, maybe the other side I can do something. Oh, window. Quarters fit for okay, a great. Khalifa. The garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I <laughs> guess that was the idea. Okay, I wasn't sure if they had an open window in the back. I checked the wrong one. Okay, so that's done. We gotta get back, give her the book. Now she said it was the second floor on the left or something. Sorry, not second floor. Room end of the hallway on the left, right? This one? Yeah. Abu Abdullah's ambition knows no bounds. Farah, he cannot tell you he would take the throne. Have you met his mother? There you are. Enjoy. <laughs> Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. <laughs> Let's hope not. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it, it gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, yep. I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Well, there was that little bit of echo in there. That was kind of cool. I am never going to need it. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. Hopefully she didn't hear that. You're right next to her. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. Thank you. I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar, and perhaps in the harem. But on who? Right. A hairpin. Nings. When did Qabiha get it? Hmm.
A signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to be missing, including Qabiha herself. Crap. What is this? What did you give her? What happened? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's oh. harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. Shit. What she happened did. to her? Me. Yeah. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with huh. me. I did Poisoned nothing. Poisoned it. Killed her. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's <laughs> room? Shit. The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just the study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna. Deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them, Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. <laughs> you really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Damn. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. Devious. I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. Okay, that case is closed. Let's see the other one. Let's do this one. The one I originally wanted to do is closer. Okay, where's the other one actually? Up here? Yeah, I think so. Alright, we're on the way. Not sure if I'm supposed to be keeping this eunuch outfit on, but lend me your eyes. Just in case I'm gonna leave it on. What beautiful homes. Far different from the slums of Anbar. Yeah, no kidding. Activate. There you go. No, oh, that would have been so smooth if that was the right door. There we go. Let us hope she is home. For some reason, the entrance was hard to find. You will not pardon from my guests. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Hmm. Symmetry of sky and sea. 
I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears. Don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots. Your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. <laughs> well, thanks for that. Now I don't know where to find them. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us yes, see what will. mask you wear, poetess. Let's go check it out. Postal office should be up ahead. The Postal Bureau. I will do as the Hoyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. How can I get in, though? Here. No, just up top. <clears throat> Balcony. Hazars. Oh, Hold shit. on. Hold on. Won't take long. Dude. <laughs> Guys are freaking out up top. <laughs> the letters are below. There oh. must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find the Haribs. Also grab all the treasure, have some fun. After the honey drips from her lips, Athaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence, bad poetry, a bit of both. <laughs> Harib could be Athaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. Okay. Gotta get out of here now. Same way would probably be preferred. I don't want to fight anyone. Clear now. I will go to the garden, give Athalab her letter, and follow where she goes. Hey, 
as the death of I will bathe in your feet. Strike as the cold. Be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove. All shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite, and I never leave a mark. <laughs> <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arip. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be. And you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. <laughs> I'll silence you! You catch that! Murder! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalem to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. Um. Oh. Okay. Follow the mouse. Really? I like mice. Where's the shirt when you need them? What do you think? Got it. You should bring him before the Mazalim court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricture or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners, so many men have tried to decide my enemies. And friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And a poet needs patrons, even one so great as Al Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive. Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Hmm. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Arib herself, but an admirer. Possibly. All right, I think that finishes up that one.
And one more. Which is not far at all. What see you, my friend? Oh. You must we not gotta... fly there now, Enkidu. Damn, marksmans. The Madalim courts are close. Derwish once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. Interrogate the judge. Hopefully the judge is accessible. Oh, good. My father once said, to know the measure of a man, ask those who work beneath him. These judges must know the governor better than most. And these individuals would be... Well, I got one over here. Oh, what's that noise? Okay, cool. Codex. Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... <laughs> yep. Would you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. Hmm. I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts, not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. Okay, where's this messenger? What's this? Investigation? Oh. That messenger could lead me to the governor's office and whatever secrets he buries there. I thought I had to go at the bench, but maybe that's where he came from. Grab those posters. The law must be obeyed. Guard, punish this fool. Hopefully, I got some posters on the way. Found you. Be a lot safer on the roofs, but. Rogue, how dare you show your face? Yeah, okay. Let's go on the roof. Not lose me that easily. Oh, where'd he go? Right over there. <sighs> there was no point. Okay, let's go back to the ground. And where are you going left? Okay. So 
Stay alert. Something is amiss. Yes, Saidi. There. Now focus, Basim. Do not lose them again. going dude Good. Now stay where I can see you, would you? <laughs> there. That'll highlight him for a little bit. Derwish always warned me I would be dragged to the Shorta. Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? <laughs> Okay, well, I got a codec right there, and now I just have to, what, walk in? Find the office, okay. I gotta backtrack a little bit. Oh, that pole connects to that side. Oh, I've been here before. Yeah, on my free roam time. Okay. The way that I did it was I just basically climbed the wall. But since I'm wearing the eunuch outfit, I should be able to just walk in. So I may not be... Needing to do all that. About the races, you go. I think I'll have a quiet night in. You have no business here. Be off with you. Hey. Now you pay. Let's fight. Careful, this unit can fight. <laughs> He's getting older. And have you seen the guy from Balsham's shoulders? Hey, did Jamil pay you back yet? Has the governor returned? I'm not sure. I did not see him go upstairs. Upstairs. There's a key holder, there's an office waiting to be opened. Wait. 
best to get them right by the time they should ask before they take the day for the manners. Let's not go through that door. Let's go up one more. It's been bad in the streets today. If it's not Abu Abdullah's thugs sowing chaos, it's the damn rebels. It is all we can do to keep riots from breaking out. The governor has a plan. He will see. I need the key. Yeah, because I'm guessing I need... Yeah. Alright, let's just, uh, fight. Hey, what? If anyone comes to us, it's a nasty surprise. Right. Right. <laughs> Oh. oh, shit, that didn't work. Alright. Well, I said this unit can fight, so... Stop that! This unit can fight. Nobody wants to believe me. Well, I got the key. So let's get to that office. Muhammad ibn Tahir's office at last. Okay, what do I got? Ocean, desert, cobra, dove. It seems he is an admirer of Arib the poet. The Tahirids agreed to withdraw their protection from Alamut at the governor's request. The hidden ones are betrayed. The governor has been tracking the rebels and the hidden ones. What the shit? Okay, what else do I... Oh, it's over here. Oh, shit. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters? The masked cabal, the order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey? A member of the order? The brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one, I heard. <laughs> hmm. Are you the one to thank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. 
I offered the Order Alamut, they gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you lose a wolf. The Order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Shit. Guards! Mm. Oh, double shit. Time to go. So the day ends with me fleeing the short bar hey, after all. What was that? What? Time to go. Dude, where are you going? Just go on that. You weirdo. My goodness. Order or no, Governor Muhammad is no friend to the Hidden Ones. I have seen enough from my three suspects. Time to seek Roshan's counsel and end this once and for all. Oh yes, I need to fight him so I can clear my rank. Okay, we're gonna spend a little fight style here and we'll get back to Roshan. Yeah! Basma, have you investigated your three suspects? If not, then your work is not complete. <gasps> you appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the Order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tappan. Just as we had feared. We've been bare to our enemies. Yes in exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by- His mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice, and I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, th that is not. A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, Master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Gabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. 
So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemies, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. So many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? Some worthless token of a long forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace. And I will cut the head from the snake. Assassination time. Okay, look for opportunities. Finally, we're at the leader. It seems Ali decided to attack the palace after all. His rebels could distract these guards. Head of the Order has been revealed. Perfect. And I am now Master, so the outfit is even better now. It, it fits. <laughs> We're gonna save the assassination for the next video. I might actually rewind to replay that little cutscene at the beginning of the next as a refresher. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned next time. We'll end the Order. See ya.